Yeah. Let's go. We just gotta go hard. Uh. I go the hardest. I bring the pain. Not what she used to. It's all part of the game. Yeah. I just gotta go hard. Uh. I just gotta go hard. Go hard. Go hard. Virus, come on, looking good. Oh, yeah, like beast back, smashing it. Adrenaline pumping through my veins. Can't relax. Original. I am not the same as these cats. I sting them if they never ever mind and they beeswax. I don't ever cap, but I'm wearing a like huge a thank you to Run Sally Hall for choosing Acorns Children's Hospice as their 2023 charity partner. All of the funds raised today do so much to help us support local children and families who use Acorns. At Acorns Children's Hospice, we care for babies, children, and young people nought to age 18 who are life limited and life threatened as well as providing care and support to their whole family i run for events another amazing event today is my second year anniversary of running we've been doing a, a run every week for uhb charity university hospitals birmingham raising money for the, for the premature babies at Highlands hospital uh, run a half marathon minimum every week just spider-man so today i think it's the 32nd i've done in a row for this year, we're just going to keep on going, keep on raising money, keep on enjoying the run through events. Yeah, it's a good race, mate. Uh, got a personal best at 50 minutes and 17 seconds, but I haven't checked my chip time yet, so I'm hoping for 49. Um, yeah, run as fast as I could and then got to a 3k, and I thought oh, I've gassed out, so I had to kind of bring the pace down and then got to eight kilometers and then just legged it again to, to finish. And yeah, personal best. The course is awesome, there's so many, there's like a kid halfway around asking if you wanted any sweets and I was I was very tempted but I was just focused on the run so sweets can happen there yeah the uh, the downhill at about five just before 5k was awesome but then getting back up that at 8k was was pretty rough <laughs> I saw the, the 50 minute pace go past me and I thought I need to keep you in my sights so I've got another run through event in November uh, it's the half marathon at Autumn Terrace so really looking forward to that that's going to be a, a big challenge you know I have done half marathons and uh, they are a lot tougher, so to try and get that in below two hours, that'd be awesome. We've just had a great day here and it's been awesome. The facilities and everything are ice and yeah, shout out to Jamie as well. Amazing videography skills, scaring me halfway through the course when I'm nearly at 5k, so. How are you feeling, mate? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that, man. Uh, it went way better than I expected. I was kind of expecting to walk a little bit and run a little bit, um, but once I had started going and then have had everyone else running with me, uh, I just kind of started and kept going and didn't stop. Uh, so I'm really happy. Uh, you know what? I'm I'm tempted. Uh, my friend uh, Gurf, who's been seeing me through this, immediately was like, uh, "On my case to start doing a half marathon." So we'll see. I'll recover from this one first. <laughs>